What up, YouTube? Uh, show you a quick little update, right quick. Uh, the motor transmission is in. I still got to make a transmission mount or finish making my transmission mount, bolt it down. But for the most part, it's in. Uh, I got to throw the dipstick in and then, you know, hook up all the other little stuff to it and everything. But for the most part, that's in. Uh, still haven't got uh, the inside of this fender painted, but that's coming soon. Um, I decided I'm going, I don't, know, I don't know if I told y'all this yet, but I decided I'm going to sand the whole car down um, with 600 and then re-clear it. Um, it's not bad. It has a few spots in it, a little dirt, but, you know, it's nothing we should be able to take care of. And so, yeah, I'm going to do that. Um, got the interior in. Uh, got the interior in. I even got the back seats in. Got these two windows in. I got the carpet in. I got the floor shipped in. You guys can see that. Yeah, it's real dirty. It's real dirty. The floor shipped in. Um, got the back seats in. Getting ready to uh, tomorrow. I'm gonna do the Herculana and the transmission mount. Hopefully, um, that's my goal tomorrow. And I gotta put this other window in the passenger side front window. Put that in. Those headers didn't work. I don't know if it's because of the motor mounts I'm using, or they sent me the wrong headers, or ordered the wrong headers. I don't know, but they don't fit. So I'm gonna order me some new ones. Um, a lot of guys on the Nova sites have been talking about these speed engineering. They uh, redid their uh, their headers so they can fit. And I think those guys are using uh, those dirty dingo mounts or those hooker mounts. So I might have to change my motor mounts if I get those headers. I might can change my motor mounts and those headers fit. I don't know. Uh, so that's that's one of the things I'm going to do. I'm going to run with those hooker headers. And I could run with the hooker, uh, the, not the hooker headers. I'm going to change the hooker mounts out. And I could run with the hooker headers, but those suckers are expensive. And right now I'm not trying to spend that type of money on the headers. Uh, poo, poo. got the gas tank painted today, sandblasted. Uh, I'm gonna throw a video in of my buddy John sandblasting my tank for him. Shout out to him because he sandblasted that thing, and I didn't have to get dirty, he got dirty. And hey, you know, I just helped him pick up the sandblast material. So, shout out to my boy John for that. Uh, I know he's gonna be watching this video, so tomorrow, John, we need to put that in. See there. Need to put that in. Let's do it early in the morning. Let's knock it out. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's my buddy, man. He, he shows me a lot of stuff on these cars. But uh, these are my gas tank straps. The inside of the rubberized undercoat, the outside is just that VHG paint. The bottom side is rubberized undercoating, and the top side is that VHG paint. Yeah, I had that rubberized undercoating can for a long time. And that sucker started spitting out crazy stuff. But. I ain't worried about it. It looked good to me, and it's going to look real good up under the car. So, hey. So, I got one more thing to show you guys. And that is, uh, I ordered some stuff for the fuel system. I still got to order a few more things. I still got to order a few more things. Because I'm going to put a uh, filter before the fuel pump, which is right here. in that MSD fuel pump. Uh, and uh, this Corvette style filter. Um... Because my fuel rails have a uh, regulator on there, so I'm going to, I don't have to run that high pressure, fuel pressure regulator, or whatever on that. Uh, a lot of guys is running. And I got this kit from um, Speedway Motors. It's got some fittings here, some more fittings. Uh, this is the mount for that. Got uh, the mount for that. You know, some more fittings over here. And. I got these fittings here from, I've been had this kit here. I got this from Hot Rod Fuel Hose or something. So I got a few of those. I'm going to run Dash 6 on return in the feed. So, yeah. Um, that's it. That's all I got right now. That's my little update. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm about to, man, I just, I'm going to got to clean this up, man. That sucker's dirty and I don't like it being dirty. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wipe it down tomorrow, but 
yeah um got a lot of stuff to do tomorrow but i'm gonna knock it out knock it out of the park hopefully and bring y'all some more updates but i'm back hopefully i'm back i know i keep saying it every video i'm back i'm back i'm back and then something else happened and i'm off the scene for a while and if you don't follow me on facebook or snapchat then you guys don't really see a lot of updates um but um hopefully like i say i'm back and you guys be looking out for me be looking out for the updates because they're gonna be coming so peace uh see you tomorrow hopefully peace out so i'm over at my buddy john's house and we're getting ready to sandblast this tank here it's not bad it's just you gotta get sandblasted doing the traps right now. So. It's almost full. Well, it's about done. I don't think it's been that full yet. Uh, my buddy Hoffman got me hooked up here. So, you get it finished sandblasting, I'm going to paint it up. Cut you guys back off and see what we come up with.